The perfect look for Valentine's Day. Whether you're hanging out with friends or going on a date, it's the perfect look with a pink pop. I hope you guys like it. It's MacLover65, and I am going to be doing my Valentine's Day look for you guys today. Now, I know it's not Valentine's Day, and I know I'm not dressed in my Valentine's Day attire. It's just like the face and kind of the hair. And, um, yeah. This is also going to be kind of like a little teeny tiny haul. Um, I went to MAC the other day, and three of the products that I'm using in this video are new, but I haven't hauled them yet, so I figured that I would just do it right now. So, the first product is my lipstick that I'm wearing, and it's, I think it's like the perfect, it could not be any more perfect for Valentine's Day, and the name is called Sweetie. I about died. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so going to use this for my Valentine's Day look, and it literally reminds me of a Valentine's Day color. It is just the prettiest, prettiest, prettiest pink and burgundy color, and it's so Valentine's Day, and it's coming up more brown on the camera, but it's actually more like a pink. It is literally like a Valentine's Day pink. And then to the eyeshadows, um, it's brulee. I got brulee, and it's, it's actually the color of my skin tone, which is pretty sad, but um, I think I'm a little darker than that. But still, it's like the perfect for, color for my eyes, just to blend it out. And then I got brown down, which is a gorgeous matte brown. If you're looking for a gorgeous, gorgeous matte brown, I highly suggest this one. It's so easy to blend, and most of MAC's mattes is either a hit or a miss. You never really know if you're going to get a good one or not. And this one blends so easily and it's still pigmented and well you will see in the video. So these were my little three haul products. So anyway, I hope you guys like the video. Please like the video, please subscribe and leave a comment below and I will see you guys at For a pink base, I'm using strawberry milk. Put, apply this on your lid and blend out. I'm going to be taking Max Swish, which is this gorgeous metallic pink color, and I'm going to apply this to the inner corner of my eye and blend to about the middle. Then I'm going to be taking Half Baked from Urban Decay and applying this to the other portion of my lid. Taking a matte brown, I'm going to use Brown Down by MAC and apply this into your crease. For a highlighter, I'm using Brulee, and use a highlighter that matches your skin tone. Put it on the inner corner of your eye and your brow bone. Then you want to blend it out. I'm taking a waterproof eyeliner, and this is by Stila, and I'm going to tight line my lashes to make them look fuller. Fluid line and black track, I'm going to thinly line my upper lash line. White eyeliner, and this is Crystal Gun from Torino Tarantino, and line the inner corner of your eye and your waterline to make your eyes pop. Go white eyeshadow, and this is Fresh Ice, and I'm going to apply this to the inner corner of my eye to have that cute Valentine's Day pop. Curl your lashes. This step is totally optional, but I'm going to prime my lashes with Lancome's Lash Primer. using Sephora Advanced Lash Booster for my first mascara because I like to build my mascara to get that false flirty lash look. I'm going to curl my lashes with Urban Decay Super Curling Mascara. And for more length, I'm going to use Fairy Drops Mascara just to give me more of a flirty look. Now we're going to apply Smashbox Face Primer all over my face. We're going to take Laura Mercier's foundation, and it is absolutely amazing, I highly recommend this, and pump this onto your back of your hand. Taking a fluffy brush, you're going to apply this to your face and blend it all out. I apologize for my hair, I curled it so I pinned it up to let it cool, but this also goes with the Valentine's Day look. Take 
your favorite concealer and I'm using my Bobbi Brown concealer and apply this underneath your eyes. Now take a powder to set your foundation and I'm using Mineralized Skin Natural in Light by MAC. Probably covered up the white eyeshadow a little bit, so take fresh ice again and apply this into the inner corner of your eyes. Now I'm going to be doing my brows. This step is also optional, but this is Medium Browsing by Benefit, and I really do love this and I do notice a difference. Time for blush, and I'm using On a Mission, and it's just a nice pretty burgundy tone. Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC and Soft and Gentle. Apply this to your nose and your cheeks to highlight. A Smashbox Lip Liner in Light and I'm lining my lips. I'm taking MAC Sweetie Lipstick and this is the perfect Valentine's Day lipstick and I love it. i a Lancome Juicy Tube in Magic Spell. I'm applying this to my lips to get a perfect flirty pout. So I took all of my curls down and now I'm spraying. Taking puffing powder to give my hair more height on the, my crown. And then I'm going to tease. You can use any size curler, but I used a hot tool, a one and a half inch barrel, and I pinned them up with bobby pins as you saw earlier. Now I'm going to add a hairband and then I'm going to fix my hair. Now this step is optional, you can leave it down or use a headband. If you guys liked the video, please comment, please like the video, and please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Also, go follow me on Twitter. The link is in the down bar below. You will be able to see when I post videos, or I'm having a contest, or I'm asking for your opinion, or you just want to drop in and be like, hey, what's up? So, yeah, I hope you guys like the video, and I hope you guys use it for Valentine's Day. If you do, please record it or leave a picture on my Twitter. I think you can do that. If it's a lot like Facebook, you could probably do that. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!